Hey guys, so I wanted to show you this. You see this right here? This is a uh, high speed rail that they want to put in California. And actually, they've already started this. But I find it kind of odd that these fires are going in the exact same areas that they need to put this railing in. If you look back at the images I showed you of the railing and then match it up with the cities that I that it shows on where the fires are, it matches up to a T. So along with Rothschilds being behind PG&E and them putting a new speed rail in, I give you one guess what's happening. They're deliberately setting these fires so they could put this rail in. That's exactly what is happening. Hmm. This is such a shame. Such a doggone shame. I mean, well, faster than a speeding bullet. The cost estimate for phase one in the Central Valley has climbed by 35%, $10.6 billion. Assemblyman Jim Patterson joining us live now in the newsroom with more on the rising costs. Thanks for being here tonight. Thank you. Let's get right to it, shall we? You asked for an emergency audit in November, but it was denied. So are you confident another request will be granted given these new numbers that are out? Well, I sure hope so. The more we learn about high-speed rail, the more uh, the project is in real trouble. Uh, it's way over budget. It is way past due by probably almost eight years. Uh, executives have been departing. It has internally transferred uh, large amounts of money just to keep the construction work going. So they're robbing Peter to pay Paul. And uh, now we're learning that uh, the Central Valley section that started at $6 billion and then went to $8 billion is now close to $11 billion. These are the signs readily available to anybody who's had any experience in these kinds of large projects that there is a serious difficulty. And I think a thorough independent audit is in order to get to the bottom of it. So California high-speed rail officials have said, hey, we're being transparent in this whole process. It sounds like you're not agreeing with that at all. There is a lack of transparency in your estimation? Sure. We're finding this, these details out, not because the high-speed rail authorities are reporting them, but there's been some very, very good uh, investigative journalism that has uh, been done. There have been some whistleblowers who have come forward. There's been freedom of information uh, requests. And when uh, private eyes have looked at this on behalf of the public, uh, they've demonstrated serious uh, flaws in the project. And up until now, all the high-speed rail authorities done has been to deny that there really is a pro problem. Don't look here. We don't have any problems. This has been a sobering wake-up call for everybody, including, I think, the High-Speed Rail Authority Board. So I think, I think an audit is absolutely necessary to sort out what is going on presently. And also, if you can't build what you've promised the voters you're going to build, what is your plan B? We want to take a quick look at these new numbers that are out today as well. The high-speed rail officials are saying that it's for adding barriers and relocating utilities along parts of the first 119-mile segment. Uh, that pushes the overall cost of the San Francisco to L.A. project uh, to nearly $67 billion. It was originally projected to cost $40 billion. So do you expect the cost to rise even more than it already I do. has? Yeah, I do. Uh, Central California really is the easiest uh, section of uh, this to build where you know flat ground uh, a lot of it is on uh, agricultural property uh, so to say that they have trouble acquiring property or they've had some difficulty along the way it, it's nothing compared to what's going to happen when they try to drill across the san gabriel mountains or get into the los angeles basin and so i think that uh, an audit is necessary to find out what's going on why the delays and why the overruns and why the problems but also we've got to find out what is plan b if this thing falls apart Jim Patterson, member of the State Assembly, thanks for coming in. Give us your take on this. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.